This is it. It's complete. The 1536 John Boat to Bass Boat conversion known as Project Wilson is finally finished. I'm going to give you guys a full walkthrough, talk about all the parts and pieces that made this thing happen and how I was able to build this thing right on my own garage. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because the next boat we're going to be doing is a 14 foot deep V for cat fishermen. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the trailer. The trailer has been completely restored. New paint, new bunks, new carpet, new tires, new wheels, new lights, new wiring, everything. The whole thing is new except for the winch, the spare tire, and the jack. Let's go ahead and talk about this paint job real quick. This is uh, One Hit Wonder paint sprayed by Chris over at ATF Hydrographics. This is a flat black. Um, using gloss on aluminum boat gives you a lot of the ugly waves and imperfections. So we went with the flat black with a flat clear coat. Up front, we have a 24 volt Minn Kota Maxim. This is a previously used motor that he got off Facebook Marketplace to put on this boat. We also have the transducer for this 10 inch hummingbird mounted to the bottom. Front navigation becomes easily removable with a little cover. And then we got it skinned up here with Gator Skin's uh, non-skid grit. This plastic hatch right here is mainly just for life vests, rope, anything of that nature. This is not a dry compartment. However, I did need an area to run all the wires into, so that's why we had to open up this bow plate area. Also gives you a little bit of easy access to things. As I mentioned just a little bit ago, 10 inch hummingbird for the front graph on a ram mount. And then we have our recessed foot control tray made by Nate's Custom Boats. And you can see up under here, we can remove that. And he's got a little bit more of a storage option up underneath there. The framing material is one and a half inch angle aluminum, 1 16th inch diameter. There is also some one and a quarter inch tubing for vertical supports. The subfloor is made of 090 aluminum sheeting as well as the deck is made from 090 aluminum sheeting. Any of the vertical walls that you see in this boat, like in this cockpit area, is all 050 aluminum sheeting. This decking material is HydroTurf cut groove with adhesive backing. This is the yellow camo option. This color of sheet is actually a smaller sheet than what you get in your normal camo colors, simply because this is considered a jet ski color. There are three compartments that make up the front deck. We have a 10 by 48 here, a 20 by 48 in the middle, and another 10 by 48 on the opposite side. All of the latches are the white cap latches that are locking. There's a few different color options in this latch. We went with the black on black. If we open up this first compartment, we have a deep stow. This compartment runs all the way up to the front of the bow and also gives the owner three extra options to hold rods in here. The middle compartment right here, 20 by 48. This is for storing all of his tackle. You know, there's another way you could have gone about this is split this up into two different hatches, which looking back on it, maybe we should have done because reaching up to the front might be a little bit difficult from getting to the back. So two hatches here probably would have been good. And we have two 40 pound struts uh, holding this big hatch up. So it automatically slams and automatically opens. The last hatch up front is a rod locker. This is again, another 10 by 48 inch hatch. We have nine rod tubes in here. And we also did a custom LED backlit wall on the outside of this rod locker, which came out really cool. Over here in this next compartment, we have a little cooler. So you can have some ice, drinks, and food throughout your day. Over here on the right side of the boat, we have a seven inch Garmin. We also have connections for a seven inch Hummingbird, which is gonna go on the other side of this rail. This is a Hobie H rail. All the wires are being ran to a Hobie through hole fitting. Inside the cockpit, as well as all the compartments is Orthodeck. This is the gray on black option, flat brushed. We have a drain in the middle of this cockpit. All the water can get flushed out of the center of the cockpit. And then we have our switch panel, a fuse block with negative and positive, a six gang switch panel, as well as all your controls for the live well. Speaking of the live well, we have an 18 gallon, all welded, stamped live well. Lid size you need for this live well is a 12 by 30. 
and we obviously have all the flow right premium kit components inside this boat we also have a rear navigation light back in the back inside your last hatch are the brains of this whole operation three agm group 27 batteries two for the bow mount trolling motor one for your accessories the flow right plumbing kit this is the 800 gallon per hour pump as well as the three-way switch we have a secondary panel back here that holds the noco three bank charger a circuit breaker for the front trolling motor and a battery on off switch we also have a three gallon fuel tank followed up by a 1000 gallon per hour bilge pump that gets pumped outside one of the coolest features is this micro anchor power pole and on the transom we have the garmin transducer as well as the hummingbird transducer already hooked up eye rings for the boat buckles that he's going to be putting on here all right it is a few hours later let's go ahead and see what this thing looks like at night with all the lights first thing we gotta do is come down here into the rear hatch and turn that battery switch on we know it's on because the voltmeter pops up on the switch panel we'll go ahead and shut this I'm trying to make this so you guys can see as much of it as possible at night, but we'll go ahead and turn on this 10 inch hummingbird. We'll also come over here and turn on the Garmin. We'll come over here to our switch panel. We're gonna hit this first switch, which will be our navigation lights. And we have a front one. The deck lights. Wow. This is the coolest part. We have two in the front, two in the back. Lights this thing up just enough. Let's go ahead and open up all these compartments. Rod locker. Oh man. You see the custom panel? two lights in this middle compartment we also have one light in this deep stow we have one live well light and one light in the rear that lights up enough back here to see what's going on i thought i showed you guys this earlier but i did not this is for the power pole so it has an up and a down button That's pretty cool, man. I really like that thing. I don't know how well it holds the boat. It's something I'd like to test, but uh, it's pretty cool. And let's go ahead and show you guys that the uh, control motor. Works flawlessly. 